What's up, Bills fans? Here we go. Well, we got Kansas City Chiefs week one. I think first I'd like to just say we let's game plan for the Chiefs. I think we're definitely going to have to run the ball to stop the run. And what I mean by that is we're going to have to keep our offense on the field too. Um, if we get some three and outs and you know short drives by the other team and we get them off the field, when we get on the field, Freddie Jackson's got to be carrying the ball. Our O-line's definitely got to be pulling some nice screens. Uh, Fitzpatrick's got to get the ball out of his hands fast. Uh, when he holds onto the ball, it definitely uh, comes into some mistakes. Uh, fumbling, uh, sacks, pressures. I definitely think with the, unless the five-step drop, I think he should be getting the ball out of his hand pretty quick. Um, I'm really excited about uh, seeing the defense, um, stopping the run is important, but just like Chan Gailey said, it's all about yards on the play. Because if they run on third and ten for five yards and they punt the ball well, we don't care about the five yards per carry that. But we do care about the overall pitcher when it comes to stopping the run. They're gonna try to they're gonna try to run the ball more. Matt Castle didn't practice all week. Um, he practiced fully, uh, but they said he might not play. I think he's going to play fully. Any NFL quarterback that's been waiting this long is definitely going to play, whether he's hurt, bruised, banged up. Um, there's just no doubt in my mind he's going to play. So my 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 idea is that they're going to they're try to run the ball more. Um, we're just going to put this four three scheme into play the first week. I don't think we'll be doing a lot of three four. I think it'll be more four three with. Uh, Carrington and Edwards and Spencer Johnson out there also. But we'll definitely have to see on the passing downs how it works. Um, definitely during the rundowns, I think we're going to put more guys in the box. Um, Kansas City's going to have to try to run the ball to beat us. Um, I'm really excited about this year. Um, I feel like uh, we really got a little magic. I feel like we can go 10-6 and six and definitely beat the uh, sweep the Dolphins and go 500 with the Jets and the Patriots. I know that's a lot, but uh, you know that's a fan. I'm optimistic. I'm not a downer fan. I'm an upper fan. I like to praise my team. I'm always looking for the brighter side and the brighter future. You know, everyone hates the Bills fans because they they know how devoted we are. We're, we're devoted to our team. We don't ever give up. So I feel like this year we really, if we can just win some close games, finish the games. When the when the fourth quarter comes around, I want to see us finishing the games. Last year we easily could have been 9-7. Nine and, nine and seven. Easily. Uh, we had three games that went overtime and I think we had six games that were like six points or less or something. It was close. All of them were close. So all we gotta do is learn how to finish games and if we can finish games we can definitely we can definitely put some more points on the board. We can definitely win some more games. I feel like last year the Kansas City overtime definitely left a bad taste in all of our mouths. Um, I go to a local bar here in Panama City, and uh, I got a Kansas City fan that goes every week, so I'll definitely be seeing him week one of this NFL season, I'm sure of it. I'd be surprised if I don't, but uh, we definitely encounter a whole bunch of Dolphins fans. Uh, Dolphins are probably my worst week of the year down here. Uh, they're definitely the more Dolphin fans than anything. I'm probably outnumbered eight to one. <laughs> Maybe even 10 to one sometimes. So, you know, it's definitely, uh, fun going to the bars and watching the teams with all the other teams going around all of them cheering for their own teams it's definitely a great atmosphere I definitely am looking forward to it and hopefully we can get the win on Sunday um, we definitely need to get to a fast start uh, we started off slow last time I think 0-8 uh, was just a terrible start I just have never experienced anything like it in my whole time being a Bills fan and I just want to forget about it you know I haven't thought about it since I think we're definitely gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to get to a fast start of things we can beat the Kansas City Chiefs and then and beat Oakland and then play New England at home. I think we really have a good chance of trying to be two and zero or maybe two and one or three and zero. It'd be nice. Uh, the, the 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 key to that is finishing games and and, and really finishing the play. Uh, you know we've definitely got a great draft pick and Marcel Darius and stopping the run. Uh, offensively, we definitely. Uh, Gonna have to try some new things out. It's his second year in the system, so I definitely think a lot of the second year players are gonna do a lot better with that, say David Nelson and uh, Roscoe Parrish. Hopefully Marcus Easley or Donald Jones steps up as the number two receiver. They say Donald Jones is gonna do it, but uh, we'll have to just wait and see because that could be a week-to-week -week basis. If he doesn't produce in the first week, they'll put Marcus Easley in. It's that, that's, that's how quick the NFL stands for, not for long. <laughs> so I'm definitely excited this week. 
let's go Buffalo and hopefully we can get another uh, win. Um, uh, if you guys want to subscribe, I'll see you next week against the Raiders. And uh, if you guys want to email me, you can email me at the Dennis Coy at YouTube or you can m email me at BillsFootballNation at Yahoo.com. Holler at me later. Let's go Buffalo.